minions, the rise of Gru. Years ago, a team of supervillains known as the Vicious Six wanted the powerful ancient Zodiac Stone. Their oldest member, Wild Knuckles, snuck into a creepy jungle temple to steal it. But when Wild Knuckles returned with the stone, Bell Bottom and the other villains stole it from him. Wild Knuckles vowed to get the stone back. In another part of the world, a boy named Gru had recently started sixth grade. When his teacher asked what he wanted to be when he grew up, he answered, a super villain. All the other kids laughed at him. But when he got home, Gru found an invitation from the Vicious Six. He ran to his new lair and told his minions, the Vicious Six got my application. They want to interview me tomorrow. The minions cheered. The next day, Gru went to a record store that had a secret entrance to the lair of the Vicious Six. He met Dr. Nefario, a brilliantly evil scientist, posing as the record store clerk. Dr. Nefario gave Gru his latest invention, the sticky hand. If you ever get famous, Dr. Nefario said, remember who gave you your first gadget. Down in their headquarters, the Vicious Six were surprised to find out Gru was just a kid. They rejected him, saying he was too young to join. Their leader, Bell Bottom, laughed and said, come back when you've done something to impress me. Gru decided he would show them. He used a sticky hand to steal the Zodiac Stone. I'll get him, Stronghold yelled. Secretly spying on the Vicious Six, Wild Knuckles saw Gru and the minions with the stone. Take the stone back to the lair, Gru told Otto, one of his minions. Gru was very excited when he returned to his lair. He figured he'd give the stone back to the Vicious Six, and they'd be so impressed they'd invite him to join their team of supervillains. But when Gru asked Otto for the stone, the minion explained that he'd traded it for a rock at a birthday party. Gru was so mad he told the minions they were all fired. Just as Gru set out to get the stone back, he was taken by an orange van. It was Wild Knuckles and his henchmen. Gru was thrilled to hear how impressed Wild Knuckles was that he'd stolen something from the Vicious Six. When Wild Knuckles discovered that Gru didn't have the stone, he called Kevin and told him he would trade their boss for the stone. Kevin, Stewart, and Bob went into the birthday party house to get the stone back. The birthday boy explained that he had given it to his uncle. Meanwhile, outside of the party house, Otto saw the uncle ride off on a motorcycle and chased after him. The other minions decided they needed to get to San Francisco to save Gru, who was being held at Wild Knuckles' new lair, Disco Inferno. At the airport, Kevin and Stewart disguised themselves as pilots. Bob dressed as a flight attendant. The ride was a little bumpy, but they managed to fly a plane to San Francisco. When the minions tried to get into Wild Knuckles' hideout, his henchmen attacked. But just as things started looking really bad, a martial arts expert named Master Chow fought them off. The minions asked Master Chow for kung fu lessons. She firmly said no, until Bob used his puppy dog eyes, and then so did Kevin and Stuart. On their search for Gru and the Stone, the Vicious Six learned that Gru was with Wild Knuckles at his lair. By this time, Otto had gotten the stone back. Master Chow tried to teach Kung Fu to the minions. They weren't exactly the best students, but they kept trying. Eventually, Master Chow declared them ready and sent them on their way. Back at Disco Inferno, Gru had been untied to help out around the house. Suddenly, Wild Knuckles fell into his own crocodile pool. Instead of taking the chance to escape, Gru decided to help Wild Knuckles out. He couldn't leave his favorite villain like this. Wild Knuckles offered to teach Gru some things since the young villain had saved his life. Working together, they successfully pulled off a heist at the Bank of Evil. Unable to find Wild Knuckles or the stone, the Vicious Six destroyed Wild Knuckles' lair while the minions watched from outside. 
When Wild Knuckles discovered that his house was destroyed, he sighed. I'm done. Gloo tried to convince him that they could be the terrible twos together, but Wild Knuckles told him to go. Gloo took the trolley to Chinatown, and there he found Otto. The minion gave Gloo the stone. The young villain was confident that he could set things right and come out on top as a master supervillain.